Hey, what's going on guys? Dodger F1 here, back again with another guide. This one is going to be about how to increase your accuracy. How to get more headshots, more kills, therefore more dubs. First part of this is going to be concerning your mouse itself. The accuracy, your sensitivity, not the accuracy, your sensitivity, um, finding your sensitivity, and um, yeah, in-game and your DPI and stuff like that, things you can do to make that better. And the second part is going to be how to practice your aim, how to practice your flick shots, how to practice tracking. That's going to be something you can do in between lobbies or even to warm up. And if you like this video, you find this helpful, please smash the like button and hit that subscribe because I'll be coming out with more. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so the sensitivity. Here's my in-game sensitivity, and I do recommend just going ahead, copying mine. If you're trying to figure this out, go ahead, copy what I got going on, and then I'm going to show you how to fine-tune that here in a second. <clears throat> uh, so the mouse setting right here is 0.07, and the imp other important one is, I think the aim down sights, and I think it defaults its way out here. It's a little high for me, the aim and the scope, I think both of them are out here. Um, just get it like 0 0.6, 0 0.4 range, that works good. Uh, so yeah, so I go ahead and put 0 0.07, 0 0.6, 0 0.45. Start off with that, and then we're going to change a couple things on the computer. Let me exit out of this real quick. Yeah, please. All right. Uh, important thing here is you want to go into your mouse settings and take off point, uh, enhanced pointer precision, something like that. <coughs> right here, additional mouse options. <coughs> First thing is, let's go here, pointer options. Take Make sure that's unchecked. Because that's pretty much it's, it's mouse acceleration, not good for uh, FPS games. If you're trying, if you just un inconsistent when you move your mouse, like when you flick shot or something like that, because when you speed up, it's going to travel even further based on like how fast you moved. Uh, you also have uh, this right here. Make sure it's in the middle. F uh, it, it's default in the middle, but uh, some people try to move this around. Keep your computer right there, dead center, which is out of these black these little dots. It's uh, number six out of the eleven dots. Keep that there, and um, yeah, and change the sensitivities and your DPI. If you have a mouse, and that's for that. Uh, if you have a mouse with DPI settings, go ahead. I have mine on 600. Go ahead, and if you want to copy me, go ahead and put that on 600. But this is 800, somewhere with 600, 1100, some, something in that range. I think works fine. And then mess around with your sensitivity. I think. Uh, Either run around like 600, 800 is what I would suggest, and then we'll mess with the in-game sensitivity. Now, to find your personal setup, what I would do is, I'm just going to go ahead and put this link. I'm not going to get too into it because I don't really understand it that well, or the, the, the math behind it and all this. I just know how to follow a guide. So I'm going to show a link to this guide in particular that I used. Uh, there was one more I used too. It was just, I don't see it, but anyway. I'll show you a link to this one. Uh, bring, get a pen, paper, calculator, all that jazz. Give yourself a little time to work on this. You're pretty much just going to keep going. It's going to give you three sensitivities, and you're going to try, I think, two of them. I kind of forgot. <laughs> you're going to try them, and whatever works better for you, whatever feels better, you're going to go with the higher one, and then you're going to uh, re-input these numbers, do some math, find out two new numbers around that new sense, and then you're just going to pretty much just slowly narrow the gap until you find exactly what in-game sensitivity you should be using and uh, what works best for you based on just how you feel. And that is, without, yeah, without getting too much into it, I'm just going to let use this guide, get that, and then we're going to move on to uh, how to practice your aim. This is the best way that I've learned to practice. Other than, because if you, if you look up other guides, everything says just, just practice, just keep playing, just keep doing it. Granted, of course, that is the best way to do it. You need to put in time in it, you need to practice. Um, but people like me, I need, I need to have something outside where I can just fine tune that one single thing. Like it, just focus on getting my mouse as accurate as possible and not have to worry about everything else and building and this and that and that just strictly for the sole purpose of having better accuracy. I uh, found this website. It's really cool. You don't have to download any program, any of that. Right there. Boom. <laughs> but yeah, so how to get there is 3D Aim Trainer. Uh, right there, 3D Aim Trainer. Like that. Start your training. Looks like this. Now you can tr you can practice your flick shots, which I primarily do right now. Um, also, uh, tracking. This one's really hard, <laughs> or maybe just for me because my tracking is terrible. 
But uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and just show the flick and reflex. To continue right there, you got two things here. So this is the why I like this one so much. So you have Osu games like that. Osu, there's a, I don't know, some like little, little target trainer thing. I don't know if this is kind of popular. Those are out there, but the thing that sets this one apart is if you practice those, you're just getting better mainly at that. This right here will copy. You can select your game, and you can select your in-game sensitivity, etc., and it's going to pretty much mimic what it feels like to play that game. The jumping, the moving, and uh, your aim. So, I don't know. I love that part about it. That's the difference between Osu and things like that, is, is how do you actually get your aim to replicate what it feels like to be in Fortnite. <clears throat> so, right here, I can hit select your game, Fortnite. My in-game sen sensitivity is 0.07. Oh, is it? <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I think it was. Yeah, um, 0.07. Uh, mouse DPI is at 600. I'm pretty, this probably is the default for Fortnite. I'm not sure. I think so, though. And then just drop my DPI again right there. And I think that sets it up. Yeah, that's pretty much what I do. Hit start training. I continue anyway. I'm not using Google Chrome. You'll see it load right up. And see, I'll do this in between games, or I usually do it at the beginning. Like, before I start, I'll spend 20 minutes on this, just practicing my aim. I'll also put, um, I'll also do this if, I, if I'm playing squads and I die. I have two monitors. I'll just throw this on the other monitor and just play. Uh, I'm sure you can do that with a single monitor setup, though. You just have to minimize. But yeah, so you hit F to go full screen. There you go. And you got your, this is what it looks like. You can use your WASD keys to move. It tries to mimic your jumping. It has a sensitivity. Feels just like Fortnite does. Now you can move around, and, and the the targets will always pop out up in front of you. What I do is I literally just sit still. <laughs> I just focus on that. I feel like uh, let me just take it one thing at a time. I'm not like an ama amazing flick shotter either, or in this game. So I let me take it slow. You know that's my thing. So it was, you can switch your guns with E. It's WASD to move. E, I can switch through a couple things. It's like um, automatic, whatever. You never have to reload, never have to do whatever. But there's no point. There's no there's no difference in any of those guns. I think it's just more like how it feels. As soon as you shoot, that's it. You'll see some targets, and they'll disappear after a certain amount of time. You'll get points, and at the end, you'll get a score, and then you'll see yourself improve over time. They're worth less the longer the in between shots they're worth they're worth less and less so as you see like i got there and if you want to be real fast like that boom so yeah that was like 24. so you just keep doing this over and over and it, after a while you i feel like i do get better i i notice after this it's a good warm-up but when i'm in game i notice that i'm popping edge shots on these boys left and right um but yeah, see, you can move, you can do all this. They'll sit in front of you. Oh, look at that, look at that. <laughs> Terrible. Oh my god, all right. There we go, let me stop. Let me just not be terrible at this. There you go, anyway, so you're seeing it. And then you see at the top right, uh, your, your total score. What I find is if you're over, what is it, 60,000? 60, 60,000 is pretty good, um, pretty decent. I've never had 70 before. I think I've had like 65, 66. But uh, yeah, so there you have it. Uh, just keep practicing, keep doing that. F find your in-game sensitivity, personalize it to you. Go ahead with those settings, and then take take that into the 3D Aim Trainer. Keep doing that, and after a while, your aim is going to improve. I've noticed it helped my game definitely, um, and it's something I still do. Like every time, every day before I start playing this, usually I throw that on, and every now and again I throw it on in between games if uh, if I'm just spectating or something i'll go ahead and throw that on but i hope hope you enjoyed it i honestly did hope this helps you guys out and if you enjoyed it yourself please hit a like and hit a subscribe because i'll be coming out with more videos all right guys thank you